As valued family members, dogs deserve to be treated with love, compassion, and utmost care. However, even the most responsible dog owners can slip up and do things that can potentially harm their canine companions. In this video, we will talk about 12 common mistakes dog owners unknowingly make when they are caring for their canine companions. From not trimming their nails to teasing them and giving them ice cubes, stay tuned to find out. Not trimming their nails Clipping your dog's nails is more than a cosmetic chore. In the wild, dogs and wolves run and walk on hard, rough surfaces on a daily basis, and this will slowly and continuously wear down their nails and keep them short. However, many pet dogs spend most of their time indoors, or they walk on grass, smooth tiled floors, or carpets. These surfaces cannot act as files for large dogs' nails as they are too soft, resulting in pet dogs having overgrown nails that need to be manually clipped. Long nails are a hazard to your dog because they can curl into the skin and cause your dog great pain. In some cases, the nails can also split down to the quick, a blood vessel and nerve found in the nail. Not only would that be painful, but there would be a high risk of infection. Longer dog nails also make it harder for dogs to walk around comfortably. When your dog's nails hit the floor constantly as they walk, it can put more pressure on the nail bed. This pressure can force your dog to distribute their weight differently while they walk, which can affect the way their toe and paw joints are aligned. Many people shy away from trimming their dog's nails because most dogs don't like the process and will do everything to get out of it. But if you start early and make it a positive process that happens regularly, your dog will begin to enjoy and expect it. Teasing your dog It may be all fun and games from your perspective and even seem the same way for your dog, but that is hardly the case. Young children and even some adults can be especially guilty of teasing a dog. Barking back at them behind a fence, riding a big dog, pulling on tails or ears, or even wrestling with an unwilling dog are certainly annoying and can make dogs upset or even aggressive. Moving a dog's dish while they eat, endless laser pointer sessions, or even playing keep away without ever letting the dog have the toy are things dogs hate. So lay off the teasing and be sure to reward your dog quickly after they perform a behavior correctly. Punishing fearful behavior Cowering, tucked tail, flattened ears, and growling are all signs that your pup is not comfortable in a particular situation. What they need at these times is to be calmly and quietly removed from the upsetting stimulus. Yelling and over-assertiveness on your part will only escalate the situation. Some people believe that comforting a frightened dog reinforces their fear, but this isn't true. You can't reinforce emotions such as fear the same way you reinforce a behavior. During stressful situations such as fireworks and thunderstorms, remain calm and soothe your dog with toys and calming music. You can also provide them with a safe, enclosed place like their crate or a dog closet. Dogs descended from wolves and were in dens, and so they still like den-like environments. Giving them that smaller space eliminates anything sneaking up on them. An enclosed small space helps them feel safe and comfortable. Never punish them for their fear. Rather, feel happy about the fact that the pooch is trying to communicate with you about their discomfort. Not taking breaks during playtime Just like people, dogs often need a break from even the most fun activities. Pushing your four-legged friend to play for long periods of time can lead to exhaustion. When your dog becomes tired, they are more likely to physically hurt themselves and also feel soreness in the following days, just like humans who overexert themselves. Most dogs love chasing and fetching a ball, but constant repetitive ball chasing without some break time can have consequences to your dog's physical health. Likewise, choose the best time of the day to play with your dog. Adjust intensity and duration of exercise in accordance with the temperature. Pushing them too hard or exercising in the extreme heat can be taxing on the animal's body. Keep in mind that short-nosed breeds like pugs and bulldogs have respiratory issues and are not capable of running long distances. Playing with your dog on a humid day Just as exercising a dog on a 90-degree day can lead to heat stroke, playing outside when it's 80 degrees with 80% humidity can also cause heat sickness. When humidity rises, even relatively low summer temperatures can be too hot for outdoor playtime. Dogs pant to evaporate moisture from their lungs, which takes heat away from their body. 
If the humidity is too high, they are unable to cool themselves and their temperature will skyrocket to dangerous levels very quickly. As a general rule, if the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity in percentage points total more than 160, you shouldn't play with your pet outside. Having access to your bathroom Dogs should be kept out of the bathroom and away from the toilet. Toilet bowls do not contain clean water that is appropriate for your pet to consume. Keep the lid down so your dog cannot access the bowl. In addition to housing dirty water, many bathrooms contain cleaning chemicals and personal care products that may be toxic to canines. If you have a curious dog, it may be best to keep the bathroom door closed. Giving your dog ice to eat or play with In hot summer days, many dog owners pass their dog an ice cube to play with or fill their water bowls with ice. However, it isn't good for dogs to chomp on ice. Ice is a common culprit in broken dog teeth especially the larger teeth towards the back of their mouth. These broken teeth are painful and can easily become infected, requiring either tooth extraction or root canal. Cold water or frozen dog-safe fruits like apples or carrots are a better choice for warm weather dog treats. Leaving a dog alone in the yard All dogs should have access to the outdoors, but never leave your dog in your yard in the hot sun or during the cold winter months. This goes for keeping them in an enclosed car, too. It's abusive, and the consequences can be fatal. Dogs don't sweat like humans, and they lack the ability to cool themselves off efficiently. In hot weather, dogs can quickly become dehydrated and overheat. In cold weather, dogs can suffer from frostbite, which can cause permanent damage to the skin and tissues. On that note, remember not to leave your dog outside when friends come over. Dogs are very social animals. Keeping your dog in the backyard and ignoring them when your friends come over is like solitary confinement for your dog. Yanking on leash or using a choke collar Pulling on a leash may occasionally be necessary to stop your dog from running into danger, but regularly yanking on their leash can result in a neck fracture. Never yank a dog's leash for discipline. Canines have a hyoid bone near the base of their tongue that can be fractured. These fractures can cause a multitude of health problems. Reports show an average of 26,000 dogs every year are injured in a collar-related accident. In fact, high rates of thyroid issues have been observed in large dogs that frequently pull on the leash. Using a choke collar, which constricts when the dog pulls away, is also dangerous. The use of choke collars has been associated with fainting, whiplash, spinal cord injuries leading to paralysis, brain damage, and other injuries. Using these collars can increase fear and aggression in dogs. It also takes away a fun, bonding experience for you and your pet. Giving your dog human foods Most people give their dogs human food thinking they are being caring. But many human foods are toxic to dogs. Xylitol, for example, is an artificial sweetener found in many sugar-free products. It is extremely poisonous to dogs and can be found in many products such as candies, chewing gums, baked goods, protein bars, toothpaste, and some peanut butters. Even small amounts of xylitol can cause low blood sugar levels, seizures, liver failure, or even death in dogs. Onion and garlic are also toxic to dogs. Humans may love the flavors of garlic and onion to spice up their food, but sharing foods that contain these ingredients with your pet can cause serious health problems. In severe cases, it could even kill your dog. And if you share your food with your dog, make sure it doesn't contain harmful ingredients such as chocolate, raisins, or nuts. These products are known to be extremely toxic to dogs. Grapes and avocados are also a big no-no for your canine. Many dogs sadly have died of kidney failure after eating just a few raisins and grapes. Keep in mind that most times the foods we eat are too fatty, too spicy, or too salty for our canines. A medium dog weighing 33 pounds only needs 200 milligrams of sodium per day. And if you offer your canine meat, make sure it is well cooked. Most vets ward against raw meat, raw chicken, and raw fish from the grocery store because of the risk of salmonella or other bacterial contamination. Cooking to a safe temperature kills off those harmful bacteria as well as any possible viruses. And remember that over-the-counter medications such as ibuprofen can be extremely dangerous to your pet. Ignoring heartworms Dogs can get foot-long worms in their hearts. 
Heartworm disease is a serious disease that results in heart failure, organ damages, and death in pets. The worms enter the body through the bite of a mosquito. As the infection spreads in the animal, infective larvae from the mosquito begin to mature into adult heartworms within the heart. From there, they can spread to blood vessels and lungs. This process happens over the span of six to seven months, and fully grown worms can live for five to seven years in dogs. What's even scarier is that heartworms will mate and produce offspring. At one time, a dog may have as many as 300 worms living inside them. This sounds like a death sentence, but when the disease is caught early and treated with heartworm medicine, your pet can go on to live a long, healthy life. Always watch out for warning symptoms of heartworms. A persistent, dry cough is a common sign seen in dogs with heartworm disease. If your canine is tired after mild activity or is reluctant to exercise, this could be a signal an unwanted visitor is living inside their heart. Other symptoms include weight loss and a loss of appetite. When you go to the vet, they use blood tests to check a dog for heartworms. A blood test detects possible proteins, which are released by heartworms into the dog's bloodstream. Keep in mind that the best way to treat heartworms is by preventing them. There are many products to prevent heartworms in dogs. Make sure to discuss the options with your vet. Remember, all dogs should be tested annually for heartworm infection.